Hello everyone, it is Rako's name and I'm back with more uh, Shining Resonance Refrain. So let's see, last time, uh, well, last time if I recall, we went all the way, all the way over here to Church Ruins and we sort of end up going back to the prison and saving it, which by the way, I was totally right. Yep. It turns out to be Mar Marion, which turns out to um, it pretty much died during this experiment that this asshole did, and yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Marion was uh, acting like it, well, more like a stupid mad science was brainwashing her to thinking it was it. Well, either way, she's back to normal, and she was taken to the castle. And, and everyone thinks that maybe the king believes she's a spy. Uh, just in case we're gonna go and make sure she, everything's fine. And yes, I did switch. Even though this is just a game, I don't feel right about bringing the daughter of the king in a, in a bikini. So, she's back with his outfit. Let's just go. Alright, here we go. Whoa. I object. She's my new wife. -o. Yes, and I decided that. Father, I need to talk to you. What is it, Sonia? I'm afraid I was just on my way to some important business. We have something important too. Please, just hear us out. I don't want you to make a terrible mistake. A mistake, you say? Yes. It's about Marion. Ah, the girl. As it happens, my current business concerns her as well. Yes, she's my future uh, wife. I already said it. But all of them, she's the one I'm gonna get the, the wife ending. I knew it. Please, father, you have to let Marion go. Um, he didn't say anything. He just said it has important business with her. Let her... Sonia, what are you talking about? Yes, see? So I guess the So I guess the king doesn't think anything of that. I guess we'll only make I get a feeling the son is one of those that thinks their parents are big monsters and turns out they are just big soft little puppies. You've got the wrong idea. I know Marion used to fight for the Empire, but but it wasn't her choice. A magus called Joachim was brainwashing her the whole time. She was forced to do it. Sounds as if the girl has been through a lot. Truly, her plight pains me. But I'm afraid I don't see how any of that is relevant. What? Even still, you'd interrogate her? You'd put an innocent person through that? I can't believe this. Father, I... I wanted to believe you weren't that kind of person. Could you just let him explain what he's planning to do? Oh. <laughs> I see. You know, these conversations would be far easier to follow if we made our assumptions clear. Relax, Sonia. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just look at the... F <laughs> this is the best kind of way to say I'm so done with your shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, she pretty much created a storm in a glass of water. Huh? When did I ever say I suspected her? That's not why I asked her to come here. <laughs> exactly. She, it's only pretty much where we're back in the end, she was thinking, okay, maybe they think she's a spy and she just go with it. Like, <laughs> she just created this whole story. Oh, perhaps this is for the best. Now you can see for yourselves. Uh, Burroughs, you called? Could you bring Marion here? And the Armonic, too. On it, Majesty. What? Armonic? That's right. Her, Armonic. <laughs> Holy shit. Huh? Well, it sort of looks like a cross, but not anymore. That, well, it's not that much. Is the Armonic resonating? Oh my god, I forgot getting that. I thought she had a different outfit. Oh, 
I ju huh? Oh, hello, uh, Marianne. But yeah, I was just saying... I, when I was changing the outfits, I gave her this special outfit. I didn't think it was another one of these. <laughs> well, I take it. Then, the harmonics reacting to Marion? Seems that way, my lady. Around the time we'd heard you brought Marion back from the prison, the harmonic began to stir in the vault. I arranged to have Marion brought directly to the castle to confirm my suspicions. And that's why Captain Burroughs was in such a hurry. Interesting. A dragon here? Apparently. And she's my new waifu. Marion. I already decided. You have been chosen by this harmonic. What the hell? I ask you now. Will you Are you kidding? Strength for our cause? <laughs> as soon as I said she's my new waifu, it started raining. Are you trying to tell me something, God? My strength? Strength is right. As a Dragoneer, you could save a lot of people from the Empire's cruelty. Think about it. I could... help people. I could help Yuma and the others. Like they helped me. <clears throat> okay, I'll do it. Together with them. Aww. Well said, Marion. We trust you will wield that power for the right cause. Please, keep your companions safe. And save my people from the Empire's tyranny. Thank you, Marion. So Marion was chosen, and I'm still. Sonia, is something the matter? You look so terribly solemn. Oh no, it's nothing. We have a new friend on our side, don't we? This is a happy occasion. Yeah. I can't complain, just because I wasn't chosen. Oh dear. I mean, don't worry, based of the, the opening, it does look like you're gonna obtain it, eventually. Or Sonia. Library of Memory. Oh, so that's the name of that thing. Well, hello. So that's what they're after. I suppose that's another clue to the Sanguine Church's true motives. But then, does the girl who controls the dragons share their motivations? That would make things difficult. So what exactly are they after? Are they thinking of overthrowing the throne or something? Hmm. No matter. I found what I was looking for. Time to move on. Can you share with us? Oh no, you're not gonna share. Of course you're not gonna share. We're just a random character. No, actually, you know, you must father, but still, <laughs> this sucks. What? What happened? What happened? <laughs> Holy shit! Here we come. Oh, you actually blocked it. Those were some real nice moves there. That's not something you can learn from plain old practice. One of the empires? No. An agent of the Sanguine Church? Out of my way. Oh, what? You're no fun. I came all this way to find you. So why don't you want to play with me? <laughs> you know, I don't know if it's because of the voice, but I swear that came out the wrong way. Oh. Said, get out of my way. Whoa! <laughs> I knew it! You're the one, aren't you? You're the dragon slayer himself! Oh crap. Oh, you're good. You're really good. Just what I expected. No, even better. Oh crap. Oh no, genius! Run! That is going great for you. I've been oh crap! For a long time. I've been trying to find someone like you, someone who could be stronger than me. Crap! Dest, calm down. That's human's father, I think. There you are, right in front of me. 
You're just like me, aren't you? That's why you've been fighting dragons, right? You don't have to say it. I understand. I know exactly how it feels. Um, I start to get a feeling of cleaning your own little backstory you for him. Fight to the death, right? You want to fight where you can give it all you've got, right? Again, you <laughs> it looks like you're putting words into his mouth. Here I am. Come and get it. <laughs> Ridiculous. I have no such desire. What? You are you're lying. <laughs> Zest. Again. Take a moment. Say it. See that organ? Say it over there. Listen to music. All the things you were just saying. <laughs> that was just a backstory you were creating for that dragon slayer guy. Don't you feel empty? Or do you just enjoy killing those weaker than you? I didn't claw my way to the top just to waste my time on that. Again? We just created your backstory for this guy. Killing he didn't say anything. Nothing. But killing something stronger than me with my own hands. That's where the rush is. <laughs> Again, Zeth. That is not his story. Hell, not even I know his story. I only make a joke because he's a... About the whole, uh, he's being Yuma's uh, father just because of the whole, uh, he knows his mother. That's the only reason. It is just a joke. I don't even actually think he is. There is a possibility, but I still need more information about who the fuck is this guy. <laughs> don't look Until then, it's just that. some joke character of apparently Yuma's father. You and me, we could have had Smokes a pipe. Really special. We could have had the fight of our lives. Don't you get it? The Draco Machina. Even the strongest of the world dragons. They were all worthless. You're all I've got left. <laughs> Dude, that sounds so gay. <laughs> <laughs> You pathetic little fool. And now you're sounding like a crazy guy. What? Great. We got ourselves two crazy men. A child throwing a tantrum because they cannot have the toy they want. A child like that claiming to be the strongest. <laughs> you embarrass both of us with every word. Well, looks like the dog agrees. Embarrass. <laughs> I acknowledge your strength, I suppose. It's hardly surprising that you might believe yourself the strongest. But you would only be the strongest in the tiny worldview you know, with barely a few years to your name. <laughs> Don't talk like you can look down on me. You're not even that much older than I am. What? Hold on now. Okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe my theory was wrong. Well, whatever. I'll just still keep the joke. <laughs> and what gave you that impression? You believe everything you see is the truth? So what, you're older? Is my theory right? <sighs> what are you? I get it. You've been around for a lot longer than it looks, huh? Okay, so is there still a possibility to my theory? Guess that explains how you got so good. How long have you been training? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. If you're that damn old, tell me who you've met that could be stronger than me. It seems you judge the power of the Shining Dragon based on what you've seen of Yuma. That was a mistake. Yuma? What, that dumb kid? Well, I have you know that he... The dumb kid is getting better. Yes. The Shining Dragon is sealed within Yuma. It can only call on a fraction of its true power. If you want to know the true power of the Shining Dragon, you'll have to force it out of his vessel. Hmm. Uh oh. Fine. I'll do it. I'll beat that kid into the ground, and then I'll drag him to you. And then, you're gonna fight me with all you've got. <laughs> Fine, then. 
If you really can do it, by all means, try. If you can make Yuma draw out the true power of the Shining Dragon and then defeat it, I will fight you with all I have. <laughs> That's all I need to hear. What the hell? Hey, what's your name? Genus. I am Zest. Remember it. You hear me? Next time we meet, I'm not gonna let you write me off. You're gonna focus on me, and only me. <laughs> that sounds so gay. <laughs> Still gay. <laughs> Damn it, why do so many guys with white hair seem to be gay? Oh well. <laughs> yeah, that last part. Yo, stay away from my wife. Will. Yeah. I mean, she did want to obtain a harmonica for our own. Excuse me. Okay, so we gonna go to the Seagull Inn, but hmm. First of all, let me see. How are my levels? I mean, they're not bad, but they should could be better. Let's see. Ah, uh, she's not in my team. Well, okay, let's just go back home. Cause yeah, supposedly she's uh, gonna be on our team, okay. and I'm gonna let her join us. All right, off we go. Back to the seagull on um uh, seagull in fuck. <laughs> Why did I fucking say on? You know what? I blame the rain. Hello, you come in. Can I come in? Oh, hello, wife. Marion? Sure, the door's unlocked. Hi, Yuma. Oh, hello. She doesn't have the eye patch. Oh, she looks so cool. Hi, Marion. And adorable. Wait, something's different. Is the eye patch? Yeah, since I'm back to being me, I thought I'd change into something more feminine. What? Oh, <laughs> oh, no, I get it. Does it look weird? I actually didn't even notice that. I actually paid more attention to the eye patch. Oh, no. I didn't even I notice the great. outfit. Sorry. Yeah, it does look good. It looks adorable. Oh, that's good. Huh? You're a little <laughs> close. What is this position? She's so close. I can feel her breath on my ear. Uh, how can you even feel that? Unless she's blowing some steam. I mean, she's way far ahead. What? Thank you for freeing me from it and freeing it from me. Huh? Honestly, I knew I couldn't save Ed. I knew he wasn't coming back, but I felt so bad for him. I couldn't let myself leave him behind. Joachim probably took advantage of that, and then he brainwashed me. But now, it just makes me feel even worse for Ed. They used him as a tool to keep me trapped. But you freed us. So thank you. From both- No. So cute. Well, oh crap! Oh what? crap! Uh, well, um... Yuma, are you seeing things? Or... No, no, Marion, turn around! Look behind you! Huh? Oh! Am I interrupting something? <laughs> I'm for the office. No, I mean, uh... It wasn't anything important. I just wanted to thank Yuma. I see. Yep. Well, I'll head back to my room. 
See you later, Yuma. Hey, Marion! <laughs> oh god. Oh my... I can only imagine. Oh, Yuma, your father is in the background. So proud of you. No, I mean... Never mind. I see. Then may I come in? Uh, sure. Um, Kirika? Yes? What is it? Wow, this is awkward. And Yaffa doesn't help. Is there any reason you dropped by? <laughs> she doesn't say anything. And now, you know, I shouldn't have given the special outfit. Now it kind of feels like she was trying to go doing something else. If you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, you object perhaps? No, what? it's not that. I just wasn't expecting it. Understandable, what? I suppose. Truthfully, I'm somewhat surprised as well. I cannot say for certain why I came. When I saw Marion enter your room, I grew so curious to see what she wanted. I ended up watching from the door. Well, that's not creepy at all. And totally not yandere like. And as I watched, a strange frustration overcame me. I began to wonder why she was there and not I. Oh, she's getting jealous. Oh, myself. God. Sorry. Yes. If I had noticed you sooner, we could have included you in the conversation. <laughs> your mother. <laughs> and with that, your father is in the background feeling so upset. <sighs> but that's not precisely what I wanted. I had no particular desire to speak to Marion, but. Ugh. Now that I think about it, I think I was jealous. <laughs> oh, she even realizes. <laughs> she was realized. Yes, she's very direct. She seems so unfazed when expressing her true feelings. I guess. I still have trouble being that honest with myself, so I found myself wishing I was like her. Why? I don't see why it would be that difficult for you. Maybe. I'd like to, truly. Somewhere inside, I'm still afraid. Afraid? Of what? A long time ago, when I was still a child, I was betrayed by someone I loved and trusted very dearly. Oh god, now I'm feeling guilty. But too bad for you, I'm not gonna... <laughs> I am not gonna back up. Oh, I'm gonna make a... Uh... Was that her, my wife? Yes. Oh. Oh, okay, never mind. For a moment there, I thought she was going to talk about the boyfriend or someone. Or a crush. Sorry. Did I bring up bad memories again? I've just been. Oh, she does right. We finally get to learn more about uh, Beatrice. I couldn't believe it took me this long to realize it. My bad. No, you needn't worry. You were right. I was talking about Beatrice. It was when I still So we're gonna share what happened on the mainland. As a diva magica, I often felt distant from others around me. My only two friends were my attendants, Rina and Beatrice. Beatrice okay. is a dark elf. Due to certain elements of Valentine history, her people are treated with hostility there. Well, I mean, from what I've seen on the internet, I usually, the, reason, the reason why Dark Elves are treated in a certain way was not because of that. But, less about Dark Elves, the better. <clears throat> yeah. What happened? During Ragnarok, a group of dark elves betrayed the dragons. Oh, so that's a reason. Okay, that explains it. They stole it. one of the harmonics and sided with Deus. Since then, all dark elves have been looked down on as traitors and kin of traitors. Even now, that hatred still runs deep. So after all those years, I mean, to be fair, I do recall hearing about how elves takes 
hold on to a grudge for a very, very long time. So I guess that will make it speak something like that with them as well. I heard there was some politically charged opposition when Beatrice was appointed to be my attendant as well. But Rena and right. I loved her like an older sister. But then she. Then she. She tried to steal an harmonic. The very same harmonic that I'm using now. Then she escaped before they could catch her. I never knew the details of the incident. That's all I was told. Interesting. But he still managed to get the, the ball back. Oh, so you and Rinna didn't actually see it happen? No. Rinna and I were out in the woods at the time. Then it could have been a mistake, right? Rinna said she couldn't believe Beatrice would do something like that. It, you know what? Maybe that was what happened. Maybe it was uh, all a setup. Saying, hey, this bitch stole uh, the ball, the harmonica. And because of the whole history, about the whole uh, a dark elf stole her harmonica and you know sided with the other asshole or deals. Maybe that's it. Maybe they just wanted to get rid of her, so the best way to do it was to stage uh, something like that. Like maybe that's the reason. In truth, I feel the same. Even now I cannot truly accept it. But the way she just left us without a word. We were heartbroken. As the days went by, the pain was all I could think of. I started giving in to doubt. What if the Beatrice I knew and loved was a mask? What if she had been planning to betray us from the very beginning? <sighs> it's so hard to know if I was thinking for myself or falling prey to the prejudices I grew up with. But when I think of how she abandoned us, I... I just... Kirika, that's enough. It's okay. You don't have to force yourself. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you through all that again. It was insensitive of me to push you. Really, it's not your fault. And besides, not all of those memories are sad. I had Rinna. She supported me all this time. She didn't try to take advantage of you, right? Sorry, bad timing, but still, that's something that usually happens with her so a lot. Now, Agnum, Marion, and now you. It is thanks to all of you that I found the courage to trust in others again. I know in my heart that everyone will always be here for me. I'm not afraid of you abandoning me, as Beatrice did. I am not yet as honest or expressive as Marion, perhaps, but as best I can. I am learning to open up. Yeah, I mean, when there's a scar in the heart, it's a bit hard to get it over with. I see. That's good. Yes. I'm sorry if I worried you. I think I've bothered you enough for one night. Anything further can wait until tomorrow. Okay. See ya. Alright, that was nice. Yes! See, I joined the team. Hmm? Yeah, and I also kind of want to increase my uh, strength, so. Alright, let's see. Where exactly is it? Oh, back to this area. Okay, I see. Although I'm actually gonna go to this other location. I guess I'll head out over here. And try to reach this place once again. To increase my strength. Maybe I'll go in this place again. It's just to fight those uh, knights. 
Because they do seem very strong. Alright, so I guess I'll stop right here. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm gonna do. So, uh... I'm gonna have to switch this party. So I was gonna say, um... I'm gonna stop right here. So, yeah, run, please. Like the video, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,